everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. So I know I said we'd try and go and see the crocodile on Monday, but the weather is going to be really cold and he's going to be hiding away in one of his burrows that he's dug, because that's what they do in the wild, and we ain't going to see him. So we need to wait for a nice hot Monday, so he's going to be out basking somewhere, so we'll be able to spot him, or at least he's out feeding or doing something. And I'm going to try and stay there a bit later on the night, so we can try and maybe torch him, try and get his eyes to shine, so maybe we can get at least confirmation that he is there, so then we can go back there with more people and try and actually catch him. Um, so, plan for Monday, so I'm going to try and go on a fossil hunting trip instead, but last time I didn't get back till late, it wasn't till like 11, 12 o'clock that I put the video on, so I didn't think that was fair on you, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an earlier one out for Monday, it does have some fossils in it, and then on the night or the following day I'll put on the fossil adventure video, so uh, I'll try and make figure out where I'm going to go and stuff like that, but really it's tomorrow, so I've got to sort it out pretty quick. So I've had to stop and start this about 20 times, so I'm not doing it again. We can clip it and mix it together. So um, we've got the feeding day today, so we're going to feed some animals, so on and so forth. Um, so you're going to get, I'll try and, just in case I've missed a bit, the um, video for, I'm going to put a video out for early Monday, so then if I'm out fossiling, we can, you're not going to not have a video for that day, if you know what I mean. Because if I go fossiling, you're probably not going to get a video till 11, 12 o'clock by the time I get back and put it on. So, um, I'm going to try and do that for you. We're going to try and go fossiling. If you can't go crocodile hunting because it's too cold, uh, so we're going to feed the animals. Meg's here today doing some cleaning. Give us a wave, Meg. Meg's here doing some cleaning. There we go. So, she's working hard, and I'm hardly working. As you do, so I'll just mess that up. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, we're trying to fill it with as much interesting stuff as we can. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. So since I'm the boss, I've got to check on Meg's work as you do. So she's cleaning the lids of the tanks. So that's what it was before. That's what we got now. Oh. Leave her a, uh, a comment in the dis in the comments, see what you think. I think she's done really well. I gives her 9.5 out of 10. 9.5. 9.5. Yeah, that's it. There's a tiny little bit of algae on there, so that's a 0.5 card, I'm afraid. Can't be, do gotta be, can't be too easy on her, can I? Can't be too easy. But yeah, she's doing a good job cleaning for me. Um, while I can do all the customers and stuff. So that's all jobs I'd have had to normally do while trying to serve people at the same time. And it's impossible. You can't do jobs and serve people. So she's picking up the slack, doing all the jobs I would normally be doing while I can serve customers. And, um, and then I can jump on and help her and stuff as well. So uh, yeah, we're doing a good team effort. And I think it's going to work well. So while I've been doing my research on the, the royal pythons and, and stuff like that, because it's, uh, it's a lot of morphs to learn about and, um, and stuff to help you identify them. It's going to be a long time before I'm an expert on identifying royals by markings and stuff like that, but I'm trying to learn as, as we go. But I have found something out about the Spark Royal, which um, he's a lot more than he was a minute ago, I'll tell you that now. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. So um, normally, Spark Royal around hundred and around about two hundred pound to about well two thirty to two hundred pound is reasonable. Um, you can find them a little bit cheaper, but it's um, you're losing the quality then usually. Um, so if I can get him out, he's put a lot of weight on. He's doing really well. Put a lot of weight on. So what we want to do, oh, he's just about to shed. See, he's got blue eyes, but we're looking at those little patches on his head. So, I can't really do it with one hand. I need another hand. So, let me get a look at his head. Come on, let me see your head. So there's little lighter patches on her head. 
and uh, that's scaleless areas. So um, there we go. There's a red. So see those lighter patches. So she is a, um, a scaleless head. So um, it's how you start to get a scaleless royals. So you'd find another scaleless head, breed them together, and then you've got better chances of getting scaleless snakes or at least fully um, scale headless snakes. So um, stop playing ball. So literally looks like stuck shed, but it's not. So uh, that's cool. Something else we learned about the Royal. So he's a little bit more than what he was before. But uh, that's how it works with snakes. You find out something new about the morph and you add a little bit more value to them. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't expect that when I was learning about them last night. And I, I thought it was a bit weird having them weird markings on his head. So I was looking up for them and apparently it's scaleless. So he's a het, I wouldn't say het scaleless head. But uh, he's a scaleless head, so we need another scaleless head, um, and then uh, we can make some maybe some scaleless. So uh, yeah, something interesting we've learned about him today. But uh, we're gonna put him back because he's gonna get fed. He's definitely putting some weight on. Look, he's getting a big boy, getting a good lad. So uh, don't know if he'll feed because he's shedding, but uh, he might do. But, yeah, fingers crossed. We'll give him a, we'll give him a try anyway, just in case. If not. You can always feed it the snapper. Snapper always eats everything he does. Absolutely everything. So we're going to put him back and then we'll start defrosting the food and we'll have a look whose house is out and about. And then, yeah, we'll have a good day. So we're doing feeding again. Meg's on training. So uh, we've got to feed the baby corn. So uh, we can see how she does, see how she gets on. Come on, you can pick her up. Come on. It's like bobbing for apples, but not so fun. There we go. So you want to try and get it to bite the head if possible. So try and tilt the head towards her. That's it. She's looking straight at the head. Oh, perfect. It's a nice little strike there. So she's just going to adjust her jaw to get the nose in her mouth like that. And now she's gonna slowly start taking it down. The jaw is almost made up of three separate pieces. So the top top half is one, and then the bottom half is two separate pieces. So they can walk, walk themselves along with their jaws just munching each little bit. So uh, she's gonna enjoy that now, so I'm gonna leave her in peace. Looks like she's gonna shed soon as well because her eyes are starting to blue. So we'll leave it like that, put the lid on, so she's safe and secure and fed. We will go back and check that she has at it and doesn't regurgitate or anything like that, but we'll move on to our next animal. So we've got the juvenile rainbow boa. There she is. Oh, she's had a little bit of stuck shed. So uh, let's have a little look at her. Yeah, she's trying to shed, she is. I think we need to give you a bit more of a spray, don't we? So we've got the cocoa fibre. We've got more cocoa fibre coming in later on today. No, not today, sorry, Tuesday. So we're going to have to spray her down with the... Um, with what she's got at the moment and as soon as Tuesday comes she can have cocoa fibre and it'll be a lot easier to uh, keep the temperature up see this is shedding in little bits but uh, if um, you want to try and give her the uh, see if she wants to have a feed she may not because she's still got a bit of stuck shed got it? she can smell it She might not, she might do. Depending on how she feels. She's definitely smelling it. She's coming a tiny bit forward. She's coming. She's coming slowly. 
I don't think she's going to strike at it. I think she's just going to bite it like last time. That's it. That's it. You're going to open up. You're going to open up. She's going to open up. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. You repeat, repeat the question. She's thinking about it. Definitely thinking about it. No, maybe. You can't just lick it. It's not an ice lolly. It's defrosted. Right, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Good girl. There we go. Hold it for a sec. Hold it for her. That's it. She could, that's it. She's going to start taking it now. There you go. Now you can drop it a little bit. There you go. So she's going to munch that down. And then uh, hopefully we'll come in Tuesday and she'd have shed the rest of it off. If not, we're going to get her on the new substrate. Well, she's going on the new substrate anyway. But um, we'll give her a proper bath. We've got the snake shedding aid. So we can uh, give her a bath in that if we need to. Yep, she's going to have that now. She's a cracking little feeder, she is. So what we'll do is we'll just put the hide on top of her. Just so she feels that little bit more safe. Just like that. So we didn't actually touch her or anything, so she didn't get a fright. And then, uh, yep, we'll uh, feed somebody else. So we've got the Fire Royal to feed. And we've got the Spark Royal um, Scaleless Head. And we've got the female, kind of a little bit weird snake. See, so, um uh, Sometimes she bites herself, sometimes she bites me, sometimes she just strikes at the camera. So she's a little bit doolally tap, but we think that's because she's got that backed, backed up shed. But uh, we're going to open this up and move out the way so uh, Meg can come in and uh, give him a feed. In the hide? Yeah, so he's going to be in the hide. Lift it up. I'll, I'll just lift it up a little bit so we can see him so there he is he's right in that back corner so when you put it in you need to try and hook it round that corner so we can see it that's it perfect so little wiggles mm. so um, he may be a little bit scared of it so uh, if he is it's no problem we'll defrost him something a little bit smaller and then he can have that, and then he can work his way up to this size. But I can't see him moving or anything at the moment. So I'm going to have a little sneak peek, see what he's doing, see if he's actually come forward at all. Not really. Do you want to try and get him like that? There's a lot going on, so he's probably going to be a little bit scared. So put the, put the mouse a little bit closer to him so we can actually smell it. Yeah. Come on, buddy. We're not scary. There we go. Look, he's, he's interested. Try and readjust it to him in front of his face again. He's thinking about it. Come on, do we give him a little break? And then we can come back to him and see if he changes his mind. He's going to be hard to do because he's, because he's got the bad eyes. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take over and then uh, I'm going to lift the hide while Meg films me. And I can show her how we're going to try and do it with a snake with bad eyes. Because he's not going to come out because he won't be able to see it. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's bleeding.
Come on, buddy. See, because he's shedding, he might not eat. So we're going to try and get his attention. But uh, he's absolutely hit his head at the minute. So we just get the smell around him. And then uh, if he's hungry, we'll decide to come out. And he smells the rat. So he's coming, look. See, he's coming. He's unraveling because he can smell it, look. See? Come on, buddy. He might not because he's he's obviously he can't see very well at all. So it's all going to be smell, a lot of it. You going to have a bit, mate, or not? No, I don't think he's after it. So we expected that because he's... Um, Shed in, but we always give it a try anyway. So I'll just put that there for him, and he can go back under his eye when he wants to. So she's shedding as well. So we might have nobody feeding, no royals feed today. What you thinking, darling? Do you want some dinner? Oh, she's struck. Come on, darling, give me some dinner, some dinner. No, I think we got another one shed in, I think. Yeah, definitely look at her eyes. Oh, but she's reeling back. She may go for it. Been waiting for her to shed for a while now. She's been needing it. She needs those eye caps to come off. You can have it. Well, I'll leave it in there for her, because she usually eats when she's shedding anyway. So I'll leave it there for her, and no one else usually eats in the viv, if I leave it anyway. So, looks like Snapper is getting a lot of food today. So next week, I don't think we'll be feeding the Snapper. So, um, we'll go have a look at him and see how he wants to take all this food off us. So this is the anemone. And what we do is if we feed it with some uh, some fish, it should uh, normally grabs onto it and eats it. There you go, it's got it. So it usually slowly starts closing up around that now. And then she's gonna try they're gonna try and force it into its mouth. See, it's all slowly closing up around it. Slowly all the sides are coming up. Look at it from this angle. See, it's slowly starting to close up. So that's what happens if a fish would swim in there and gets too close. So it's almost completely swallowed that now. All closing up around it. So though this stops it eating any other fish. Just in so if it's hungry, well, it's got less chance of eating any other fish. So you can see there the underneath, it's just got a foot attached to the rock. Yeah, he'll soon move that now to his mouth. 
Yeah, something a bit different for you, a little bit fishy. Told you it'd get a little bit fishy. But uh, yeah, disappointed with the snakes today. Everybody's shed in or doesn't want to feed, so. We've had the two younger royals didn't feed, the adult royal didn't feed, but two of the royals are shed in, one of them's just being funny. Uh, we didn't even hear a week. Um, so it's the fire that didn't feed because he's new. Um, I try and feed the yellow belly at home, my new uh, Disco Inferno. Um, we'll see if we can feed the uh, the big burrow as well. I don't know how he's feeling, he's, he's a bit weird he is. But uh, yeah, we'll do him. And then, but now we can do the beast. So I'm going to try and get as good as footage as I can, trying to get a nice close up of him giving it a good whack. So I'm going to try my best, try not to get my phone bit and me bit. So uh, could be a bit of a, ooh, I don't know, but we're going to try our best. So I'll see you in a sec. So he's coming, look. He's a coming. So we've only got a little mouse for first. Let's see if we can get a good shot of him doing it. He's trying to get my hand. Whoa! He's got a lot of food today, but uh, he's not going to get fed next week. So uh, that should be the main plan. I'm going to try and get myself another one. Ah. There we go. Come on, Snappy. We've been having a, uh, eat that one first. Eat that one first. Eat that one first. Don't go for my hand. Look, he's going for my hand. Look, he's trying to get my hand. He's trying to get my hand. You ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get it. Cause he's trying to get my hand. Dean. Oh! That'll teach you, innit? That'll teach you. Trying to get me. Look at trying to get my hand. He was like mad, desperate for my fingers on the holding the camera. He was. Come on, have your mouse. That's what you're meant to have, not me. You can get your mouse. Yeah, look. You're scared now because you fell on your back. Is that what it is? You're scared. Come on. Don't run away, you little wimp. Come on. This way. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, buddy. Wow, it's like lightning he is. Woof, gone. So those are like a snack to him really. He can have his proper meal now, which is a nice big fatty. So don't run off mate, you've still got more to have. See, look, we've got more. We still haven't ate that one. Look, he's trying to get me again. He's trying to get me. Oh my God, he's trying to get me. Oh my God. Ah, he can't get me. He's so close, he's so close, he's so close. Ready, I'm gonna do something. Don't let anybody do this. Ready? Oh, he's, he's scared. He's seen me trying to, he's got a blind spot. So when he's like that, I can poke him on the head without him seeing. Oh, if I ever get a chance, I'll try and show you, but very dangerous to do. Very dangerous. Eat that mouse, buddy, because you've got this to eat. He gets left alone all week, so this is the only interactions he gets. So he makes the most of this, he does. And we try to make the most of it as well. I've never seen him fall on his back, though. First time he's ever gone belly up, but he soon flipped back over. Here he is, look, here he is, here he is, here he is. Come on, everybody, come on, everybody, come get it. Come and get it, come and get it. Don't bite me, though. Look, he's looked, he's spotted my hand, he's spotted my hand, he wants the mouse, he's gonna go for the rat, though. He's decided he wants the rat, not my hand. He's humming and ahhing about it though. He's, humming, he's going for my hand again. He's going for my hand. All right? No. No. Mouse. See? Get the mouse. Oh wow, look at that for a shot. Come on, you got to actually take it, you little wimp. There he is. The beast. I still got 
still think his shell is absolutely stunning. There he goes. This is the biggest meal he's ever had, so hopefully he doesn't regurgitate or anything like that. And um, we won't feed him next week. We'll probably give him an extra couple of days off just because he's had so much. But yeah, what a cool end to the video, eh? Oh, well, so we had a disappointing day with the snake feedings, but they're shed in and it's a new, new arrival. So there's nothing I can do about that. Snappy had a good day, he's had loads of food, so he's happy chappy. Um, Meg's done a good job cleaning, very nice job, very happy with that. Um, let me know what you think, if she did well. Um, just a little comment if you think she's done well or anything like that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we we had a look at some of the uh, anemones and stuff like that, it was new. Um, I'm still um and ahhing about the fox hunting trip for tomorrow. Um, it's it's going to be awkward and really, it's, it's the weather. If I'm down at the shore and it is got gale winds and raining, I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, I can, but it's going to be on the ill. I'll get off with a catch a cold or something like that and I'll be ill then. And I can't be ill at the moment because there's no one to cover for me. So I've got to run both sides with no cover and, and, and all that. So. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Um, if you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a circle there, no, a box there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, there should be a circle up there for you. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos, and I am trying my best. And uh, fingers crossed, once everything gets back to normal, we can get back on track with some good videos. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.